changes be coming to the way South Carolina picks judges. That's the focus at the State House today as calls for judicial reform get louder and lawmakers prepare for South Carolina's upcoming legislative session. Our State House reporter Mary Green has details. South Carolina is one of two states where the legislature elects judges. If the state were to switch to a totally different judicial selection system like gubernatorial appointment or popular election, that would require a change to the Constitution and voters approval. But changes within the current system only need the approval of the legislature. Uh, I believe the work of this committee uh, to enhance the public's confidence in the judicial branch is a vital part of our preparation for the 2024 legislative um, session. A newly formed bipartisan House committee is taking a closer look at judicial reform and met for the first time Tuesday. The first person before them was the man likely to become the state's next Supreme Court Chief Justice, current Justice John Kittredge, speaking for himself and not on behalf of the judiciary. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Pick some changes that would be more universally accepted, give it a try, see how it goes, measure it, but understand, unlike some efforts, particularly in government, when you go down a path, there's no retreating. Kittredge said South Carolina's current system has produced good judges, but he signaled support for giving the governor a greater role in judicial selection, including by allowing the governor to appoint people to the panel that screens judicial candidates before the General Assembly elects them. Allowing the governor, the executive branch, to have some say in the appointment process is a healthy thing. Kittredge also vowed to promote diversity on South Carolina benches if he becomes chief justice. A report released earlier this year found women and African Americans are disproportionately underrepresented in South Carolina's judiciary. We can have a great bench. We have a great system. But if it doesn't reflect the people of South Carolina, we are going to lose the the respect and integrity of the public that we serve. This committee will meet again next week. They'll have to submit recommendations to the full House of Representatives by next February, when the entire legislature will be back here in session. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. The committee also heard today from judges and lawmakers in other states on how they select judges. Current South Carolina Chief Justice Donald Beatty was on the agenda to speak as well, but the committee's chair said he had a scheduling conflict.